Hi friends, MD Vegan and my gentle juice fasting day that's once a week I only drink but I can if I don't feel that good that well uh, maybe a little bit stressed or maybe I have no time at all I skip it at all or maybe I eat a little bit or have a smoothie or a soup or something so it's not a strict rule but it is a guideline and it has to fit in my schedule so I plan ahead what is the day that's best fit into my schedule and then I do that but I try to do it every week yeah. and it's so easy to do that if it's in the flow that's why we call it gentle juice fasting to be in the flow to feel the energy flowing inside and this feeling this the energy flows inside without blockage that also um, makes the body heal itself so this is most important so not it's not about forcing myself I don't want to do it or so I do it in the flow yeah I learned that lesson years ago and I learned about the flow that's from tree yoga I truly brought the flow into the yoga world it's a whole new experience yeah. since I know that my life changed when I began yoga my life already changed I stopped fighting so much in my life but with tree yoga with the flow and it was a whole different thing yeah. now I learn to do everything non-violently with the flow yeah, with gentleness with compassion yeah. that's the first the first thing compassion love yeah, easiness that's also the most economic economic um, thing I can do yeah. uh, to do something with compassion in the flow is the best economic approach to the world yeah. so uh, gentle juice fasting is the thing yeah. after being a vegan after doing triyoga on the mat every day the fasting the gentle juice fasting is the most efficient thing I do to get better yeah, all the time and it's easy because I have these wonderful juices once a week I don't have to you know uh, strict discipline you know not eating as I tried before that also works it's tough you know you have to be tough but now I can drink these wonderful juices they are beautiful colorful or sometimes even a milk a nut milk a plant milk today I make a plant milk with nuts and seeds and I try a new flavor that's really exciting because I found out when I do the fasting and it's a cleansing process yeah? an inner and outer cleansing process yeah? um, I cleanse my body from toxins on this day and also I turn inside and I uh, watch myself I wonder who I am and what kinds of habits I have um, over the time and maybe I lost sight of it on this fasting day is a regular, a regular, a regular date with myself when I wonder okay what's going wrong what's going right you this inside it's a regular checkup and it's so good to do that regularly I do it every day when I meditate on my yoga mat yeah um, but I do it also once once a week and a whole day you know and meanwhile it's so easy after years and years of practice I can do it while I do everything else at first maybe it's recommended to take some time off yeah, it can be a little bit a challenge but once the first cleansing the grow the gross cleansing is over yeah, and you get more refinements yeah then you can do everything else and be more creative that's where I am now I'm so happy I can do make new recipes on these fasting days uh, very efficiently because I feel exactly what happens in the body and on in the mind for example if I drink these new recipes juices uh, with a hazelnut for example I found and another recipe I found that it is an amazing combination to combine hazelnuts with hulled hemp these are called hemp hearts this is the three to one ratio uh, three cups uh, three half cups one and a half cup and a half cup here just to let you know about the ratio uh, um, I just sort a fixed ratio it's my ratio for this recipe uh, because I know the hemp seeds taste a little bit strong a very intense flavor and um, the hazelnuts also have a strong flavor but 
but more gentle. If you can say gentle to hazelnuts anyway. Hazelnuts, among the other nuts, they have a pretty edgy flavor, I would say. Very, it's a very um, intense flavor, but as compared to the hemp seeds, I would say it's still gen more gentle. However, you have to taste it yourself to find out uh, what I'm talking about. But you, the thing is here, if you combine these two flavors, hazelnuts and hulled hemp, you get a special freshness into the drink that reminds me of fresh hazelnuts from the tree. My grandma had a garden with hazelnut trees or bushes. They are something between bush and tree, a uh, small kind of tree we had. Um, and they taste really fresh from the tree, wonderful, green uh, flavor, uh, crunchy, wet, yeah, fresh. And these, of course, are dried. You get the, at, at the shop, you get only the dried hazelnuts, of course, yeah, usually. Yeah. But when you put them with the hemp seeds together, they get back this something of this fresh flavor from the tree. You gotta try that, it's really amazing. And I will today I will combine it with some dates. Yeah. I found out these are eight small dates, you know, or two cups of nuts and seeds and eight dates, just to give you an idea what I do. You can have more or less dates, or even not dates at all. If you don't want to have this a little bit sweet, I find a little sweetness here very good. Yeah. Um, I didn't try myself before this kind of drink, but I will find out pretty soon what it tastes like. When I did it, um, I made this. I made a smoothie, or it was. I think it was a, a dressing. I into a dressing with bananas, hazelnuts, and hemp seeds. That I tried. The bananas gave the sweetness, and that has that had this wonderful effect I just talked about with a fresh hazelnut flavor. I was so amazed. I, then, when I found this first time, a couple of weeks ago, I began um, to make this uh, combination with hazelnuts and hemp seeds and bananas more and more often in other dishes. Um, and now I try it for the first time without bananas. Instead, I take dates. I want to see what, what it happens. Yeah. I put the three uh, half cups, one and a half cups of hazelnuts and a half cup of hulled hemp seeds and these eight small pitted dates and a liter of water into my blender. That's usually what I do. Two cups of nuts or seeds and one liter of water. That is a standard measurement for plant milk. That way you get a creamy, thick, pleasant hemp, uh, nut, uh, plant milk. Yeah. Two cups of nuts or seeds and one liter of water. Two cups, one liter. Yeah. But you can take also one cup only. Then you have a lighter milk more watery that's okay yeah. and um, so that's up to you i just give you a general direction yeah. um, i do the two cups here and I get a, a nice and creamy milk yeah. so i try that now we'll see what happens and then i tell you in a moment blender dance <laughs> some time to blend. The nuts have not been soaked. If you want to have a shorter blending, you soak the nuts ahead of time. But I don't think soaking is so important. There is a debate about it. it has been a debate. It's over, I think, now. They first thought uh, for some time that soaking nuts activates the nuts, so to say, of the seeds, because you can easily absorb them, the nutrients. If you don't soak it, they say, you cannot absorb the many nutrients because there's something in the unsoaked nuts and seeds, in many at least, not in all, that keeps the body from absorbing the nutrients. The thing is now, they found recently that what you take out of the nuts or seeds by soaking, that stops the body from 
absorbing the nutrients. At the same time, the same substance, the same nutrients, they are fighting cancer in the intestine. So, it's a question, what do you want to prefer? Do you want more nutrients or do you want <laughs> fight cancer? I, for myself, I would say the modern, our modern Western culture has no problem with nutrients. We have plenty of nutrients in our food. We have all kinds of foods we need. What we do have is a wrong nutrition. So many people add pollution and many other things. They make us sick and give us cancer. So this is a much greater problem. We die of cancer than we die of starvation. And that's why um, I'm not so inclined to do the soaking. Um, I think um, being healthy with anti-cancer um, nutrients is better, more important for myself than having plenty of nutrients. So I don't think I don't get the nutrients from unsoaked nuts. Yeah? And if I ask my friends, nobody soaks nuts really. But you know, sometimes I do it because I want to have a nicer texture. It just helps to make it creamier. And if you want to soak them because you feel better, then soak it, no problem. And also helps, I say, with um, a blending, makes blending easier. For example, you don't have a power blender like this one. It's a good power blender. Uh, it's right recommended. But if you don't have one, not you're not there yet, you want to try something else, you don't need the blender that often, you know, then get a cheaper blender and maybe you soak the nuts before. And then you, ahead of time, you know, maybe an overnight or so, and then you have also nice results with a less expensive blender uh, and you get also creamy results you know so we, either way it's not that important you know, i just want to mention it because oftentimes people uh, ask me about it and i have read about it a lot and so and uh, it has been an idea uh, on people's minds and you know we always learn you know the science comes into place and gets to subject we learn more more new things and Sometimes we have to, to correct ourselves and our opinions. I also thought that uh, because you read the same books all the time, the same text, the same specialist, and you, then you think, okay, that's the new thing to do it. And, and later you find out, okay, we gotta think that over. You know? So now I have a job to do here. I have to, to um, milk my, my hazelnut hems. <laughs> here is this, and um, it'll take some time. Because the nut milk bag here, they sort of have very uh, thin, uh, small pores, and so it takes some time, and I don't want to um, ask you to watch all the time. I will come back in a moment when I have milked all the nut milk here, and I show you without it tasting in front of you. I don't know what it tastes like, I will show, I'm very curious. So in a moment I come back. Hey, look at this. It's more than a liter. I put a liter of water in there, I got more than a liter out, as it should be. So now I'm excited. Um, it took 10 minutes or so to, to milk the nuts, and now I'm tasting it. It looks very nice. I have to say, um, a nut, a hazelnut milk has always been very special to me. I don't know why, maybe because of my grandma had these hazelnut, tree, hazelnut trees, I don't know, but I, I like the flavor of hazelnuts most. Um, but you know, I don't drink them all the time because then again, I like other milks, plant milks too. No? <laughs> so this to say something is my favorite, uh, maybe right for some time, but then the next time I got another favorite. But you know, plant hazelnuts are something special to me. Um, especially with the hemp, I'm excited now. I tried one here, one cacao, recently, um, with whole hemp. I thought maybe the similar, similar effect. It wasn't. It was also a nice flavor, the whole hemp seeds, but the uh, this effect of the fresh hazelnuts, I really um, that was only from the from the from this fr uh, hulled hemp from the hemp hearts, without the whole hemp's. So now I'm excited. Will this effect now be here also? Yeah, I'm excited. So let, let's let's see. I want to try it now. There we go. Yeah, it's there. It's a, it's it's really a, a kind of fresh hazelnut flavor. You don't get that with hazelnuts on its on their own. You don't get that. Put a little hemp seed in there. They're super healthy too. Hemp seeds have this very rare fat, 
we don't get in many um, food, um, in lots, lots of fruit, plants, we don't get this omega-3 fatty acids, we get it in hemp seeds, in chia seeds and flax seeds, in walnuts, in algae, you know, they got the omega-3 omega fat, fatty acids that are a rare fat that we need on a daily basis. We need uh, one or two tablespoons of one of these seeds every day. You can also combine it. Then you have plenty of omega-3 fatty acids. Um, so that is in hemp seeds and that makes hemp seeds very precious, of course. Nutritious uh, value, higher value. So, um, of course, I like to use hemp seeds because of that. I try to incorporate in the diet. And you can also make a nut milk with hemp seeds and use it in other day dishes. You can put it in a soup, for example. It's wonderful to make vegetable soups with nut milks. It's not easy to make a soup with vegetables when it's raw. When you cook the vegetables, it's easy to make a soup. Here we know, that is easy. Yeah? A delicious soup can be wonderful. But a raw soup, to make it delicious, that is a different story. Yeah, I tried many soups raw that did not work at all. Some, of course, do that, delicious. And nut milk, plant milk, is a good way to make a soup because you know the vegetables and especially vegetables uh, when you uh, cook them they get a complete different flavor yeah? and when you have them raw they have a very intense flavor oftentimes and this intense flavor is really a challenge for a chef yeah to make it delicious with these raw vegetables there is something you have to be um, knowledgeable a little bit experienced to make these raw intense flavors into uh, nice flavors um, yeah, I, th I think vegetable soups, actually raw vegetable soups, are one of the most difficult things in raw cooking. You know, I always try to make raw uh, in my videos because it's easier. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to heat uh, um, uh, um, uh, the water or something. I don't need to do that. It goes fast. It doesn't mean it is always easy to get a new recipe because you have to know something. Cooking potatoes is easy. Yeah, cook potatoes. You have a nice dish with potatoes. Wonderful, delicious. Yeah? easy uh, but it takes more time and to make a raw food dish maybe it takes less time but it can be a little bit challenge, challenging uh, to find out what's nice how to make delicious uh, we all want to have delicious because if you don't have delicious uh, then the energy doesn't flow you don't feel so great it has to be delicious that's important then the love is there the compassion is there as i said before um, that's the idea of a human being or every being, every living being with a, the consciousness, the awareness of the personality, animals and humans alike, same thing, no, no difference in that. They want to be happy and the happiness is the thing, and the positivity, that's the thing what definitely makes, is, is when you take everything else away, that's what remains, love, happiness, positivity, that's our um, inner core being. If you think it through, it's a logical conclusion, it's very easy. Also from that comes the, the, the imperative to positive thinking from this idea. Yeah. And it's also, um, of course, a long tradition in, in, in a, a yoga philosophy. You know, They know that happiness is what we are. And you know, it's more and more coming to scientifics, um, to science or awareness, that it is a happiness that because we are social beings, they say, we are, we are not rational beings and former uh, generations and cultures or times people thought human being is a rational being as opposed to an animal, we have rationality. That is not true anymore. People don't believe that anymore in science. Animals have rationality too. That's not what dis divides us. We have also rationality yeah, in a different way. Yeah. But what we have in common and what makes us different from plants altogether, animals and humans are together, different from plants, is consciousness, awareness. And that means um, compassion. Consciousness, awareness, compassion. The sense of togetherness. When we get together, then we are good, then we survive. Alone, we don't survive. That's, that's the idea of humankind, I guess, of any living being, of any consciousness, of any person. Uh, and, that's why, and that's why positivity is so important and even in science gets more and more attention. So, uh, long talk. Uh, the idea is simple. Now I show you my plant milk here. It's the hemp hazelnut milk. Look, a beautiful milk. It's a light milk. The lightness comes from, from filtering. Uh, I like these plant milks at the evening of fasting day. 
I like kind of like a dessert. Yeah. And um, when you filter the plants, like here in nut milk bag, you filter out the heavy parts, the parts that cause digestion. Yeah. The fiber is that what you filter out. The fiber is that what we cannot digest. Generally talking, there is something in the fiber we do can, can digest. Yeah. And that's actually, what, as we more and more learn, even very important parts of the nutrients. Yeah. They are very healing properties. But in general, most of the fiber we cannot digest and that, that means the digestion begins to work to get them out. The bacteria in the intestines, they work on the fiber, they eat the fiber. That's very important for us to eat fiber on a regular day, a regular base. On a fasting day, we take these fibers out, we put the digestion to rest. Yeah, the, the, the main part of the body here, that's for our immune system, rests and we have time off. Yeah. We can use all the energy from this for self-reflection, for um, cleansing and for being creative in the end. And um, yeah, that's, that's why I love these plant milks uh, because they are light, you know, they have, have this, you give a lot of energy in plant milks is more fat and protein, in juices um, is more sugar to make it easy and these five nutrients, these colors. But, but these here are more fat and protein. They are dip more heavy than juices, of course. And that's like um, a little, um, a little um, uh, dessert on a fasting day. Yeah. So from time to time, I like that a lot. So sometimes I don't like it. Sometimes it's too heavy. I don't want to have only juices, only water, or even nothing. Yeah, happens also. Uh, but, but, but sometimes these plant milks are wonderful. And it makes a difference if you filter these out because then they are light and when they are fresh, uh, you can, when you have store water, it's different, but when you are fresh, you can try that. It's really, it's really fantastic. It's an amazing delight. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you want to learn more about Sri Yoga Moon Fasting, I post a new recipe every week in the average, according to the fasting day, on Facebook on Sri Yoga Moon Fasting. That's a Facebook page where some people are gathering. Um, I always post, some people uh, just watch. And there's a calendar for the fasting calendar for the, for the best fasting days. You have some better than others. But if you begin, if you want to know something about gentle juice fasting, it doesn't matter what day. It has to fit in the schedule. Yeah. That's the main thing. Once a week for the rest of the life. That's gentle juice fasting. And that's easy. It's no health problem. Yeah. You just one, one day a week. And you know, it's only thing is that you have to decide if you like it. Um, if you don't like it, if you feel bad, don't do it. Yeah, you have to feel great. That's gentle juice fasting. Otherwise, it's not gentle juice fasting. Yeah. We get, if, and if you feel great, you can't go wrong. It's very easy. Okay, that's the Trail of Moon Fasting page on Facebook. And if you want to have another recipe every single day, you can also subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube. That's my YouTube channel. Then you have another recipe every single day. And you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, MD Vegan. I have some accounts there and I'm gonna be almost everywhere. Hope to see you soon.